guys welcome back to another episode of all the new releases of course uh this is the ninja legion and i'm alora so prepare for all of the awesomeness and make sure you check out our website at the ninjalegion.com all that fancy plugs all of the plugs that we do so up first let's get to it let's get down with all of the anime so up first we have the Severing Crime Edge, the complete collection on DVD or Blu-ray. This one is, at first I was just like, what is this? Cause all of the pictures for it are very sensual and I was kind of concerned, but then I, I read into it more and it's about this boy and girl and he has an obsession with cutting people's hair, which if that ever happened to me, I would slap someone, but he has an obsession with cutting people's hair and he wants to cut this girl's hair but apparently she's cursed and when she she can't have her hair cut at all but somehow his magical scissors can cut her hair and then when he tries to do that a whole bunch of people try to assassinate her so i don't know what in the world happened with this like little plot story but it was kind of crazy and i was like oh 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 they're all trying to kill this poor girl all right so that's the first one. Then we're going to Italia, The Beautiful World, Season 5 on uh, regular DVD and limited edition DVD. So, of course, the one on the left is our little, like, fancy edition with postcards. And then the that's the normal cover, but I don't really like Italia too much. So we can move on to the next one. <laughs> All right. So this one is A Devil is a Part-Timer, complete series on Blu-ray. This anime looks hilarious. It is pretty much the devil uh, somehow gets out of hell and becomes a part-time fast food employee. And his life goals are to make the best food possible. And of course, a lot of people are just like, oh God, it's the devil. Why are you in the human world? And he's like, I just want to make delicious French fries. So I, uh, I'm really excited to watch this one, actually. But moving on. Oh. Uh, and then the last one we have this week for anime is my, roman uh, my teen romantic comedy, um, Snafu. Uh, pretty much the standard teen romance, but the boy is very, very angsty and a troublemaker. And then he ends up joining a group. And uh, of course, school is at the group. But he's a jerk, so watch him develop. Ooh. Yay, romantic comedies. All of them. So then next up is the theater. All of the theater. So uh, this Friday, of course, we have the new Hercules coming out. Uh, of course, it's The Rock being Hercules. And then uh, I know last week they talked about Lucy, and that's coming out this Friday as well. So check it out. Check out them new movies. And then next we have uh, what's coming out on DVD and Blu-ray. Which we have Noah, which you guys saw that with Russell Crowe. And The Other Woman, which is, you know, standard funny stuff. <laughs> and then comic books for everybody. All right. So first up, uh, we have from Antarctic Press. It is the Victorian Secret uh, midwinter special one shot uh, pretty much I wanted to talk to you about this because we've never seen this before um, the cold wind blows through the Victorian city streets and the hinderlands alike but our saucy steam steampunk sweethearts will keep your gears running warm so that was the description that they decided to give us which made me laugh really really hard but it actually looks pretty cool I didn't think I haven't seen a comic book steampunk-esque theme yet, so I was kind of excited to see it. So outfit ideas for all of you that do steampunk. So moving on to the next one from Aspen, uh, we have Damsels in Access number one. And of course we have the director's market cover A and market cover B. But this one is another one that I have not seen. It looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna give you guys a little description of this. It is five realms, five princesses, and zero men. Questioners. 
so many questions, but um, pretty much in the land of the fine realms, the existence of man has long since been evaporated from the hearts and minds of women. So it's pretty much a whole bunch of ladies' adventures, but I really, really liked their outfits. So I'm curious to see if they do kind of like, uh, kind of like the Disney princesses, but probably not because it'll, you know, comics are a little bit more dramatic. So it looked pretty neat, but I kind of want to know what happened to all the guys. Who knows? So moving on to the next one from Boom Studios, we have the Bee and the Puppy Cat number three, the variant cover, which I know I talked about Bee and the Puppy Cat before. They're super adorable. Little pup cat. And then we also have the Bravest Warriors number 22, uh, which that is the writers of Adventure Time. And uh, it's pretty much how they want to save the universe. It's the standard little cutesy Adventure Time-esque, but uh, space-like. Because I guess Adventure Time is more RPG-like. So this is more space. Space. Move it on. We have Dark Horse, which if you guys don't know anything about Gantz, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Um, but Volume 32 is coming out. And then we also have Halo Escalation number 8 and Mass Effect Foundation number 13. And then we are uh, on the next part. We have Star Wars Legacy number 2. Um, well, number 17. And then the Star Wars, the original... It's the original script for everything before uh, before everything happened in the movies. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then Tomb Raider number six. All of the good Dark Horse stuff this week. And then I'm pretty sure next is DC. And I'll warn you guys, there's a ton of DC. A ton. So we're going to get through this. Uh, first up, it's Aquaman number 33, the variant cover with Batman and the regular cover, of course. Um, and then we have uh, Batman number 33, uh, the variant cover and the regular cover, which I love. The regular cover has lions with it. And he basically took Riddler's stick and snapped it in half. So uh, where did lions come from? I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> Batman 66 number 13 and Batman and Robin number 33 the variant cover and the regular cover and then also Batman Beyond Universe number 12 we're gonna keep on going with more Batman it is Batman black and white the hard cover hard cover volume 4 and then Catwoman number 33 the Flash number 33, and then, of course, the variant cover, which I actually love, the black and white, but then you can see the Flash and the lines in the street. I thought that was kind of a nice touch instead of just a plain black and white edition of things. And then there should be He-Man and the Masters of the Universe number 15. I had to put that in there. <laughs> and then Injustice Gods Among Us year two, number eight. And then Justice League Dark, number 33. Oh, a lot of 33s this week. Um, the regular cover and the variant cover. Lots of 33. And Justice League of America's, the first volume. Red Lantern's number 33. Haha, <laughs> so many 33s. Superman, uh, the variant cover. And the regular, the regular cover there. All them 33s. All of them. And then last up, more 33. But first is Superman Action Comics, Volume 3, at the end of days, which I have to say, I don't really like the art. I mean, I know, I don't know. It's the new 52, but he looks really weird, in my opinion. And then Superman Action Comics, um, the hardcover, uh, Volume 4, and Wonder Woman 33, which looks like she's been stabbed. So angsty, angsty Wonder Woman. All the angst. And then uh, for those that like Doctor Who, uh, I put up for, Har for Harper's design. It's the Doctor Who Shakespeare notebooks in hardcover. So I don't know if you guys have seen the Star Wars one, which I own them. Uh, now they have Doctor Who. So I figured that'd be pretty neat for all of the Who fans. 
And then from IDW, we have Kill Shakespeare, Mask of Night, number two, uh, the regular edition and the variant cover. For a quick, it's exactly what it is. It's a whole bunch of the Shakespearean characters getting killed. So I was amused. And then we also have My Little Pony, Friendships Forever, number seven, the regular edition and variant cover. And then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Time, number two, um, the regular edition and the variant cover. I like both because it's that samurai-esque edge. It makes me think of Turtles 3, even though Turtles 3. <laughs> and then uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Ultron Empire, Ultron Empire, and the Transformers Classic Volume 7. So this one... I want us to focus. Okay, obviously we have Transformers versus G.I. Joe number one. Why in the world did they have a blank sketch cover as one of the variant covers? I just don't... I would... If I saw that on a shelf, I would just bypass it because I have no idea what's going on with that. That's just silly. I don't... No. Put art. <laughs> Put art on it. And then uh, we also have the other, you know, uh, variant cover with it as well. But I just don't. Blank canvas is no. And then um, uh, the retail variant cover. So many variant covers. But why? Why? Blank cover. No. Don't do it. So we can move on. Sorry. And then we also have Transformers Windblade number four. The regular and the subscription variant cover. Which she's hot. So yes. All of the Transformers. Yay! Image! The Walking Dead, uh, Volume 21, All Out War Part 2. I'm really excited for it to come out because I want to know what's going on very much. So I can't wait! <laughs> And then all of the Marvel comics. We have the all-new Ultimates number five, Amazing Spider-Man number four, Daredevil number six, and the Mighty Avengers number 12. And then we have Storm number one, uh, the variant cover, the young variant cover, and then the regular cover. Though I do love the adorable chibi young variant cover. It makes me think of um, Tiny Titans, how they did all of that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, Wolverine and the X-Men number six. All of that. And last up, geez. Wolverine and the X-Men number six, of course, has a Guardians of the Galaxy variant cover, which I explained last time. So many. We can't get over all of this variant Guardians of the Galaxy, but that's just my own little opinion. So that's all for new releases. Uh, make sure you guys check out all of our social media sites. So we're going to bring them up. We're going to show. We're going to go to the ninjalegion.com right now. He said use uh, Firefox. We're going to show everybody. All of the fun stuff. You could click it. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, like, throw. I don't know how to do it. Throw it. Throw it on my screen. We can just. Everybody can see it. Right. We can do it. I have faith in you. <laughs> Can't do it, Captain. Where is Cecil? Well, we can figure it out next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just hit Cecil with the fail whale in a second. Of course, go to the ninjalegion.com. And then, of course, check out our Facebook page. Uh, just check out the Ninja Legion. And then I know we have um, Gmails where you can email us. And we will take all of your feedbacks and criticisms and probably cry about it. But we will. 
And, uh, oh gosh, I know Tumblr, Twitter, all sorts of, all the good social media sites. So stay tuned next week. Um, I hopefully will be doing stuff next week, but we'll see how that goes. So bye guys.